It's your boy Nangun in the house back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk about some transfer news. We have a lot of sad news today, yes, as an Arsenal fan. If, even if you win the Premier League and when you see Manchester United and Liverpool and Man City getting battered, oh my god. And uh, yes, there is, there, I mean, we have uh, some sort of happiness when you see how Liverpool were thrashed to threads, to pieces. I know that Mikel Arteta has really broken Jurgen Klopp, but trust me, um, Joe Willock has broken Adrian, and Adrian looks like he needs to be rebooted. But more importantly, importantly, that is not my cause of concern. My cause of concern is to bring you the best transfer news. So let's do it. Well, whilst the 2020 summer transfer window closes at uh, 11 p.m. BST tonight, uh, a domestic only window during the, which the Premier League clubs can trade only with those in the EFL or below will run from to uh, like uh, uh, 11, uh, uh, 11 1 p.m. BST on Monday 5th of October till uh, 5 p.m. BST on Friday 16th of October 2020. So it looks like if Arsenal actually want to sign somebody they can actually get it from the championship. Only time will tell if that is going to happen or not but moving on. Well, let's talk about it. Arteta has spoken about the things to improve. He says, we have to improve our ball speed. That's the first thing I told them. Then some of the movement, control of the spaces and use of the overloads in the right areas. The moment we interpreted that better, we attacked much better, scored two beautiful goals. So yes. Uh, and talking about more stuff, he says, I think I always try to be really honest and clear. Believe me, the ownership the board and myself are doing everything we can to maximize the resources we have to improve the team and to sustain and keep the players that are in this club. I have 100% backing from them. It's not just words, it's reality. Whoever knows me, it if it wasn't like that, I wouldn't say it. Whatever we can do, whether it, it's ourselves or the owner, they are willing to do it to support us, to back us, because I feel that they believe in what we are trying to do. So Arteta believes and Arteta confirms this with all the fans that yes, he's got the financial backing and literally every sort of backing from the ownership. And talking about more stuff, the press association understands that a move for Atletico Madrid midfielder Thomas Partey could still go through. More for it, keep watching the video till the end. And Arteta on speaking about the fan criticism towards the board, he says, I think that I all that uh, that I always try to be honest and clear. I have 100% backing from the board. I wouldn't say that if I didn't. Talking about the win, he said, I am happy the way we played. We had the right patience. We created the right moments uh, in the game when a lot of space started to open up in the second half. We scored two great goals. And when that happens, we need to improve to score the third one. So Arteta would want to score more goals. But moving on, while well, talking about the 19 passes for the second goal that Arteta spoke about, he says, I think the team, team is evolving in the right way, in possession in certain areas to attack this low block. The moment we increased our ball speed and started to read certain situations better, we attacked more efficiently with more purpose. Uh, and on if the squad, uh, is it enough to get the top four? Arteta says, well, there's a lot of things that you are saying that have to happen over 10 months, but that is the challenge we have. We try to coach them the right way. We try to give them the right environment to grow and feel comfortable at our club. And talking about Nikola Pepe, Mikel Arteta said, when this type of player is not playing, obviously they are not happy. But I demanded them on match day to be completely focused and determined to make an impact when they have the chance to play. And that is exactly what he has done. That's a beautiful part of Nikola Pepe. He's going he's gonna to look down and he's going to definitely work hard and get his work done. And talking about more stuff, two sources contacted by Get French Football News talk of co consternation and shock among the Lyon squad when Rudy Garcia announced tonight's starting eleven to them. Leo Dubois will, was the captain against Lyon. Moving on, uh, Mikel Arteta has spoken about uh, Hector Berin. He says uh, he's demanding all the time to do more individual work to improve in the final third. When you do that, you get rewarded. Maybe it's not going to happen in the first week or the first month, but over time he will improve. Uh, he had a difficult uh, period because he was uh, doubting himself in his head with the amount of time he's been here. A lot of things have been happening in the background. I trust him. I know how much he can improve. He's showing every day. He's willing to do it. Yes, I feared that Hector Berin may leave, but what I liked is that he came 
to me and said, I can see what we are trying to do here and I'm convinced is the right place for me. He was a completely different player in training with his energy level and willingness to work. So Hector Bellerin is also a guy to look out for. Well, talking about more stuff, Arsenal want William Saliba to go out and get some experience this season and Fulham looks like his most likely destination. Yes, it looks like Ren won't get his play, uh, won't get their player, but more importantly, it's going to be Fulham is where William Saliba's future is headed. Let's see how things will turn out. Well, Leo manager literally confirms that Depay may still leave tomorrow, but he knows Awar is staying and that that's why he started him tonight. Depay is on bench. And talking about more stuff, Matteo Genduzzi was being linked. He was lined up for a deadline day move to Hertha Berlin, according to John Cross Mirror yesterday night. And we'll talk about it because Ian Wright spoke about Nicola Pepe. He says, this is where you want Nicola Pepe playing. There's been times where he's been covered and he can't open his legs or get going. He's very difficult to stop in these situations. So it's up to Arsenal to get the ball him, to him quicker. That's where he's at his best. So yes, Ian Wright knows his football, man. And talking about more stuff, well, Arsenal were in the pursuit of Hassan Awar and reportedly made a bit of 32.6 million pounds plus bonuses and Matteo Guendouzi in an exchange. And that was also uh, rejected by Lyon. That is, that's unbelievable. And talking about more stuff, there is total agreement between Hertha Berlin and Arsenal for Matteo Guendouzi. He will join on loan without any option to buy. Well, Hertha were always looking for two midfielders, and uh, that does not ha that is that may not happen though. But moving on, well, David Vinuesa Malbach has opened up about the thing about Lucas Torreira. He says, uh, "Let's see. Tomorrow is Monday. Imagine how Lucas Torreira must be having it. Whose dream is to play for Atletico, and tomorrow he will be glued to the phone to see if his signing is close. Uh, all after passing the medical examination. Tremendous that this happened. So if Lucas Torreira's deal." is that if if uh, you know atletico madrid sell off hector herrera if they are successful in doing so they can accommodate lucas Sorera in their midfield if not even though passing the medical lucas Sorera could come back to arsenal yes the deal may not fall through wow let's see what happens but moving on well james benge says no purchase option for matteo guenduzi in his move to hertha berlin he'll only have 12 months remaining on his contract come the end of that loan Assuming club don't do a Chelsea and likely will be worth a lot less than Arsenal might have imagined at this stage of the last season. And Hertha Berlin will not pay a loan fee at all. Instead, they will cover all of Matteo Guendouzi's wages, which I'm pretty much sure Neil Mapai would know by now. Well, moving on. Well, let's talk about different stuff. Well, uh, huh, here's a sad news. Here's a sad news. Arsenal's COVID cuts have claimed another victim in the shape of the mascot, Ganasaurus, who has played the role since its inception in 1993, has been let go as part of the club's ongoing streamlining process. So, Ganasaurus is out. And the Athletic say that Arsenal's bid to strengthen central midfield looks like set to end in a, in a disappointment. Their hopes of signing Hossam Awar were dashed over the weekend and barring a dramatic late twist, the long-term pursuit of Thomas Partey will go the same way. Interest in Jorginho looks unlikely also. That's because Chelsea don't want to sell him to a rival. Or rather, they would want they would not want to strengthen a rival. While there is currently no expectation of alternate targets arriving as well. It's too late for that now. So David Onsen has confirmed the fact that it's going to be difficult for Arsenal to get anyone in the window. And Gwenduzi is undergoing his medical at... He actually underwent 9 a.m. BST uh, local time. And should that go smoothly, the French under-21 international will join the Bundesliga side on a season-long loan. And Arteta has spoken about, he was asked about Gwenduzi, Kalasanach and Torreira, will they leave? He says, I cannot comment unfortunately right now. Um, there are things going on behind the scenes, but at the moment there is nothing different. And talking about one more person, Gabriel has impressed Mikel Arteta the most. He says, I am very impressed because I have said that uh, in this league in this country one of the most difficult positions to play is a center back because you get a challenge you get challenged and exposed many times and tested many many times he's very uh, stable mentally as well throughout the game and i think he has the physical uh, and technical uh, attributes to adapt really well to the league that's why we signed him credit to him because to do it in this short space of time i think that's a big thing and uh, let's talk about different stuff. Let's talk about uh, Matteo Guendouzi having a medical already confirmed by Mike McGrath. 
So yes, and Emi Martinez beat Liverpool yesterday. He was the, he's the only goalkeeper who beat Liverpool thrice, and that's that's huge, man. That's huge. And Fabrizio Romano said Atletico Madrid are convinced that Thomas Partey is staying. Let's see if there'll be some late move to trigger his release clause, according to Fabrizio Romano. But Atleti are not expecting anyone to actually come in. Wow. Well, talking about some sad news are done, but uh, I don't know if this news will cheer you up or not. But yes, Arsenal are looking at a centre back. Yes, uh, Hertha, Hertha Berlin defender Omar Rekik is busy with a quick transfer. According to Kicker information, there is a request from Arsenal for the defender. Yes. There, it looks like there is there, there is definitely Omar Rekik is the player that they are looking for a central defender. I'm not pretty much sure that I'm not pretty much confident that Arsenal are actually looking to get him. But he's a very young defender, 19 years of age, very good, powerful plays for Hertha under 23s. So yeah, that's that. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day twice. So what you gotta do is subscribe and hit the bell icon. Our goal is always to reach some thousands. So it is 13,000 now. So stay tuned and don't forget to uh, don't, don't forget to join our live. We are transfer deadline day live. We're gonna talk about some things. We're gonna talk about some disappointments and we're gonna talk about some bad things happening at Arsenal. Also, we're going to discuss about the 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 uh, the uh, Tottenham's uh, Tottenham's Old Trafford heroics and we are also going to discuss about Aston Villa killing. The, the a giant called Liverpool at Villa Park. Cheers, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to join my live as well.